All righty, now we are the seventh of the first 10 test words of 60. Seventh. Again, this is a very simple word, one syllable. So one syllable with one definition ought to be just a humdinger for anybody. Now in this particular case, 100 people, 100% 100 of the people spelled this word right, so it's not a tough word. But only 40% got the definition. So the word is list. List. 100% spelled that right. Only 40% spelled it correctly. 12 out of 30. Okay, so spell it. But the real trick is, well, what in the heck would the definition be and where would it be at? That's a pretty dang good question. Okay, so you've had a chance to ponder. Let's take a look here. List, just like it sounds, 100% spelled it right, 40% got the definition right. Uh, not found in the Bible, and only two times or three times in the Doctrine and Covenants. So it's, where would Joseph have learned to list and then use it precisely correct only once in the entire Book of Mormon? Again, all these words are only once. That's why it's so unique. Okay, you use the word 38 times and you kind of get the gist of it and how to use it. You already knew that. But use them once and do it precisely correct. <laughs> and then you go, okay, that's that's unique. That's interesting. Okay, let's get the context. So this is in Mosiah 2. So in Mosiah 2, this is Benjamin talking. He's talking to the folks about life and how to be aware of certain things, to entertain certain things. He introduces Christ in his talk. So many things are going on in this particular discussion. And this is in Mosiah 2, 32. So he's talking to all of his people. They're all out there listening with bated breath. And he says, but my people, beware lest there arise contentions among me. Okay, that's fair. You don't want in a environment of spirituality, an environment of Christianity, you don't want to have contention. Reasonable. Now the punchline, again, Mosiah 2.32. Beware lest there arise its contentions among you, and ye list to obey the evil spirit. Ooh, list to obey. <laughs> That's pretty unique. What's the definition of a list? And list is to lean or incline, to be propensed, hence the desire to choose. So, again, one time in the entire Book of Mormon, very unique usage here. Beware lest there be any contentions among you, and you list to lean or incline your desire to choose or obey the evil spirit. Precisely used correctly one time in the whole Book of Mormon. Nowhere in the Bible. He's just coming up with these words. These are simple words. One definition. You have to know precisely what it means. And when you read it, it enhances the verse as you would expect it to do. Lovely. Seven down of the first ten of the total of sixty. Let's go on to the next. <laughs>